Welcome to a new vlog. In this video we are taking a look at the TPS62840 ultra low power step down converter from Texas Instruments. It's basically a buck converter with an input voltage of 1.8 up to 6.5 volts, 750 milliamps output current with a quiescent current of just 60 nanoamps and active current of just 120 nanoamps. It also features very good efficiency at light loads of just 1 microamps. It can offer 80% efficiency. Other features include 16 selectable output voltages through an external resistor and a stop pin which when activated will completely stop any switching to eliminate any switching noise for a short moment, allowing you to take for example an ultra low noise measurement during that time. The power will be sourced from the output capacitor while the converter is switched off. So it looks like this is a pretty interesting DC to DC converter with some really nice features and it's really optimized for ultra low power devices. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. What I have here is a development board for this chip, it's called Olm board and has been sent by one of the viewers of the channel. He designed and built this development board and the module features a uh, TPS62840 mentioned earlier as well as the um, uh, supporting circuitry, various jumpers to select the different operating modes of the chip and five resistors to allow you to select five common output voltages 1.8, 2.0, 3.0, 3.3 volts and the fifth one which is left unpopulated where you can solder your own resistor. This board is open source, I will link in the github with the source files in the description below so you can check it out. I will be using my joule scope to take some measurements of this board. I want to take a look at the quiescent current and also plot the efficiency across a range of output currents. For these tests I will be powering the board for my bench power supply with a uh, set voltage of 4 volts. So first test is the quiescent current, for this I'm just supplying input voltage at 4 volts, I have nothing connected on the output of the module and we measure the input current to the module using the joule scope. The measurement is showing around 100 nanoamps and this figure varies with junction temperature duty cycle but it's about right according to the datasheet. I don't know the cause of those short peaks of current but it's happening on the module even when powered from a battery, they are still present. Now for the second test I will be measuring both input and output voltage and current so we can plot the efficiency of this converter. Input will stay fixed at 4 volts, output at 3.3 volts and I'm gonna vary the output current by connecting a dummy load to the output. These are the results obtained here and apart from the lowest measurement I took at 10 microamps which uh, is slightly off from the datasheet graph, everything else is on point. On the 10 microamps measurement uh, values are so small that there might be measurement errors into my test setup so I wouldn't really say it's a problem with the chip I would uh, rather suspect the uh, test setup. Next I'm gonna do a uh, thermal stress test on this little converter I'm gonna let it output the maximum output current of 750 milliamps from an input voltage of 4.2 volts and see how it copes with the temperature increase. I ran it for almost a full hour in an ambient of 22 degrees Celsius but the chip temperature never went over 50 degrees Celsius so it can certainly output its maximum rated current without overheating. Finally I measured the output noise using my oscilloscope with a low inductance ground connection right out the output of the module. First I measured while the module was outputting the full 750 milliamps at 3.3 volts with an input of 4.2 volts and the output noise was about 40 millivolts peak to peak. Next I did a second measurement at 350 milliamps where the noise dropped to 21 millivolts peak to peak. Both of these values are good for a buck regulator. I like this uh, DC to DC converter module, the chip has some nice functionality and as usual with Texas Instruments parts they perform well and match their specs. It is also a well designed PCB which follows the recommended guidelines from the datasheet. 
I'm not sure if uh, Orkan, the maker of this module, has any particular project in mind where he uses this chip or if he plans to sell these, but he is a frequent viewer of the channel, so I'm sure he will respond in the comments below. That was all for today. Don't forget you can support the channel on Patreon, where even a dollar a month counts, and I'll see you next time with a new video.